lab 2 familiarization with the multiplexer design the goal of this lab exercise is to familiarize yourself with the simple multiplexer model we will use this design over the next few lab exercises to become familiar with the simulation and the synthesis tool we shall also implement the test bench to verify this model the specification is as shown in the final alarm clock design we either display alarm underscore data or the current time value in the lcd on the lcd display depending upon the value of the control signal show underscore a we see that when show underscore a is high the input alarm underscore data is assigned to the output display If show underscore a is zero, then output display is assigned with the value of time underscore data, alarm underscore data, time underscore data, and display are all four-bit standard logic vector arrays. Initially, we will work with four-bit buses for our data to represent just one digit of the alarm clock. Later on, we will expand our design to represent the four individual digits of the clock. Let us code the design and the test bench for the same. Go to the labs directory and create the file mux.vht. Declare the library and the package standard logic 1164.all in order to enable the use of standard logic data types. Declare an entity mux along with its port list containing the input and the output signals. Declare an architecture RTL of Max. It consists of a process disp underscore Max along with the sensitivity list, which consists of the set of signals read by the process. If show underscore A is high, then output display is assigned with alarm underscore data value. Else, output display is assigned with time underscore data value. Let us code the test bench for this design. Declare the library and the package. Declare an entity TV underscore Max. The port list is empty here because nothing enters or leaves the test bench. Declare the architecture bench of TB Max. Declare the component Max. We see that the name and the port list of the component matches with that of the entity Max. We then declare the local signals in order to connect the DAT to the test bench. Next, we instantiate the component MUX. The process stimulus drives the stimulus to the input signals. The stimulus is chosen such that it tests for all possible scenarios. At zero nanoseconds, show underscore A is zero, and hence the output display should be assigned with the value. Time underscore data, which is all zeros. At 10 nanoseconds, show underscore A is driven high, and hence the output display is assigned with the value of alarm underscore data, which is all ones. When at 20 nanoseconds, show underscore A is driven low again, and hence the output display is assigned with the value time underscore data, which is three. Finally, we suspend the process by executing the wait statement. We shall use this design and test bench in the later labs to simulate and synthesize the design. This completes this lab.